As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But it is with a measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we... ...we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Again, Mr. B. Jim Dandy, that'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up! Clapper! Get yourself hit! No fuck up this time! Daddy's home! Thank you!
I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. One night, while cruising the Atlantic in his steamboat, the Olympian refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. He shouts to a state-of-the-art submersible black eyes, nicknamed Slush Sinker, who very supplies and workers to the seafloor. Fathoms below. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into, volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusements. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I said it's going to end! Donnie, I told you! I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture 